Now, when you look at the conditions that CBN has put in their policy, to me it appears very punitive. How the money comes about, how the money is to be taken, and limitation on what people should do with their hard-earned money. I think even in, in, in the global best practice, it does not exist. We must find a way to remove that so we do not deter people from progressing. Having said that, Mr. President, quickly, um, our rural bankers cannot survive this policy somersault. Why? Because the basic infrastructure in our rural area does not exist. Circulation, if you look at what it's only about 2 or 3%. If we continue to attack 2 to 3 percent of the money that is available out there, how do we affect inflation? If what they are saying is true, Mr. President, by end of this month, with what they have mocked up, we should see at least a 7 percentage point in inflation rate. If it doesn't happen, then we should take out inflation as one of the reasons that we are introducing this uh, capital policy. Secondly, uh, uh, Mr. President, if for 12 or for 10 years we have introduced a cashless policy, and we still have so much money outside in circulation. And then we are touting our position in the digital uh, transfer world and whatever. It means that the two can coexist hand in hand. Yes, we have been successful. We have moved so much transactions into Europe. And yet these people are still, you can't force people out of what they are used to. In the report, there is a clause that says massive consultation will be held between now and the 9th of January. Mr. President, that's only two weeks. And there is this festive period in between. How can you have a massive consultation in, in those two weeks? The timing is wrong. Um, again, Mr. President, the CBN approved POS, um, POS uh, operators and registered them and took monies from them, no matter how little. And now, those people can only do so little. It took so many people off the roads. It took all our employ unemployed graduates off the streets. Now, they're going to be thrown back with this policy if an amendment is not done. Mr. President, there's a big elephant in the, in the room. Why is this happening during an election period? Why is it that it is coming now, when we have an election, just a little over a month ahead? There is a need to be flexible in what we are doing. Uh, Senator Bakia, we also want to protect our people in the rural areas from being attacked, you know, uh, by bandits, being attacked by armed robbers who believe that uh, there's a piggy bank in their homes. I think the moment it becomes clear to everyone that uh, we've gone uh, 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 cashless, full-blown, and there's no money being hoarded in anybody's house, uh, I think there will be reductions in armed robbery and uh, bandits are, uh, banditry attacks as well. That having said that, let's go straight to the recommendations. Recommendation one, that the Central Bank of Nigeria should considerably adjust the withdrawal limits in response to public outcry on the policy. Those in favor of the policy say aye. They again say nay, the eyes have it. Recommendation two, that the committee, that's the uh, Committee on Banking, should continue to embark on aggressive oversight of the bank on its commitment to flexible adjustment of the withdrawal limit and periodically report outcome to the Senate. Those in favor of this, say aye. Those against, say nay, the eyes have